welcome to episode 69 of the RV Man LP Exhibitions, and today we'll be facing Perry Saturn. Yeah, that makes number four. And Perry Saturn, even though he's wrestling in an independent circuit right now, he's basically had one of the most notable successes in WCW as being a part of Raven's Flock. Basically, Raven's Flock was this group led by Raven, a group of heels actually, all of them being tortured in some way, shape, or form by Raven. Particularly, Perry Saturn and Riggs were among the people that got tortured the most. While Riggs stayed into while Riggs willingly stayed on the group until Raven was forced to liberate the group due to losing in a match that forced Raven to liberate the group, Perry Saturn was the first one to leave. Okay, let me rephrase that. The second one to leave. <laughs> and I got a stop sign and he's too scared to come in. There's a 20 count, you do know that, right? Oh, that's why he wanted to stay out. He should have took the count out. Anyway, Perry Saturn basically did not see eye to eye with Raven, which led him into a lot of feuds. The only other person that he would actually have a feud with would probably be Canyon. I do believe he had a feud with him. Because, of course, Canyon was on the flock as well. Now... The thing about Perry Saturn is he only won, like, maybe... Two or three titles in WCW. He only won the tag team titles twice. Once with Benoit, and once with Raven. And he won the TV title... When he beat Bam Bam Bigelow for it. Oh, not again! God damn it! I keep forgetting the NWO White and Red have a feud, and sometimes they would show up. Now see, if the roles was reversed and Saturn was beating my ass, this game came out when Saturn and Raven was feuding. So Raven would come out for me to try to stop Perry Saturn from winning. Instead, that's not the case, and I have to face Scott Hall. I hope I can end this quickly before Scott Hall interferes. Because keep in mind, folks, your interference, or the opponent's interference, will always come in with a special. And there is no disqualification for that. The ref will disqualify you with weapons, but he will not disqualify interference. No. That will not happen until WWE 12. Almost 14 years later, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 14 years later. Jesus Christ, that is a long time before this game evolved. So you have to keep your eye not only on yourself, but on the interference. Because every time you try to go for a pin, the interference will come in and try to stop you. Except for that time. I don't know why Scott Hall was just sitting there watching, but normally they come in and interfere. Anyway. That's basically all for the day. I wiped the floor with Saturn. He should have stayed with the flock. This is RFMan985. I'll see you guys in episode 70. Take care, guys.